guys welcome to another video and today I have the Raylan loot video so finally I have a Rajani war serpent and honestly it's about time for those that haven't been part of the channel for too long or maybe you still aren't because you know rumor is that only 10 percent of the people that watch your videos actually sub to your channel so uh for those that are unaware uh the how to video that i did on this mount is actually my most populated video on the channel it's my best video and I always thought it was so weird how I don't have the mount that legit brought a lot of you people to my channel. So I'm, I'm really happy to say today that I finally have it. It may have taken, what, a year I think is roughly when this place came into the picture? A year, maybe almost two? So it's definitely been a bit. Uh, Attempt-wise, it didn't go too bad. Uh, there, I did 18 attempts on this. And yeah, so, so doing pretty good for attempt-wise. I definitely have worse attempts out there. So as far as farming it, I only really farmed this mount on two different characters. Uh, as some of you may know, or maybe you don't, you have to do at least a little bit of the legendary intro to get into the instance that shows you these rares. So you you do have to be in a BFA version of the veil, which only comes through doing some of that legendary stuff. You don't have to do it all, but you have to do at least enough to open this up and that can be a pain on a lot of vaults and I a couple attempts prior to this I was like shit should I bring more characters in and then I looted this and that kind of settled it I was like nope not doing it so I only farmed this on two characters uh, this is my horde main basically and then my alliance main so the two of them basically from I would say vanilla to legion, I only ever mount farmed on one single character, my druid. Yeah, it took years before I actually brought the alts into the mount farming picture. And we're just talking mount farming picture. They'd already been, I'd had at least 10 alts since BC doing stuff every expansion. I just had never parked them anywhere to where they were regularly doing mount farms. So you can do it with a very minimal. Honestly, I feel it's better to uh, mount farm on less characters anyway, because as someone who spent a lot of years farming mounts on one character versus me now farming on multiples, um, I felt like my chances were actually better back then. I looted a lot off of just my druid. Uh, by the time I started bringing alts into the picture, I was already at around 400 mounts. And, um, and the more characters you bring in farming mounts, the more time that's all you're doing is farming mounts, right? I, I feel like when I farmed mounts on one single character, I was doing more actual game content <laughs> you know so uh so i i think both are good uh but me personally i prefer to farm mounts on less characters that way i can actually play more of the content the mount is really pretty uh no shocker that it's a war serpent it's veil right panda was kind of dedicated to serpent mounts and yeah, I I think it looks really good. Uh, that is it for the video. Enough of my ramble. I hope you enjoyed the video. Good luck if you're still going after this mount. Uh, she is a beauty. 
So I really like the lightning on her and I like the nose ring. She seems to have like a little nose ring there. And yeah, she's she's got more decor than I thought she would. And that's all I got for you guys. So have a great day, guys. And we will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.